Hello YouTube. This is my EA Reef 450S. As you can see, I've got quite a lot of equipment in here. First thing is first, that's um, an Ecotec Marine S1 return pump. I had a TMC return pump, but it gave up the ghost after about eight months, so uh, I went and got one of these. I was a bit worried at first because I, I thought it might be too powerful for this kind of small tank, but it can be calibrated from zero up to about 5,000 litres an hour. So, you know, if anyone's thinking about getting one of these and they're worried that it'd be too powerful, go for it. So far, it's working great. I've got a Bubble Magus C3.5, it's working alright can hardly hear it. Um, I've got a refill by TMC. Hopefully this one doesn't break also, but it's, it's going all right. No problems with it. Also from TMC, I bought all this stuff when I first started, but uh, I don't think I'll be buying any more stuff from TMC. But anyway, this is a, a V2 Vectron ultraviolet sterilizer. I've got a um, reactor in there running carbon. Um, I've got one of these coral box um, dosing pumps just for no pox. Works alright. I've got a um, CO2 scrubber. Doing okay. around the side I've got some of the controllers what I thought went wrong with the return pump I had the controller inside the sump so I don't know if the salt kind of got into the electrics and stopped it working because it was, sometimes it'd work sometimes it would stop and it would start again so maybe it wasn't the pump's fault so that's just you know, that's what I think but um I've got in there and stuff like that. There's a few pH monitors and salinity which work okay but you've got to calibrate them often otherwise they go out but it's, it's, it's alright. Around the side I've got I've got one of these Jabo things. I've also got and a, uh, another from Coral Box, an aquarium pump extender. I got that connected to the Aquamedic um, wave maker, just in case the power goes off, there'll be a bit of movement in the tank until I get home. Um, I've got a Kessel Tuna Blue. Um, it's the medium one, not the, the big one, or the, not the small one. I can't remember what it's called now. Free, 150 or 160, something like that. Works all right. Got its controller down there as well. Inside, I've just got softies, really. Um, the lights are ramping down now. It's nearly sun sunset. <laughs> so the Xenia is kind of really going to sleep. But... Uh, that's doing fine in my tank. I've managed to frag, you know, that was the original bit, but it's, it's grown a lot. But I've got it isolated, so I can keep it under control. My green star polyps, they're doing great. I've fragged it as well, but uh, it's growing, but sometimes they don't reach, they, go, they don't, you know, seem happy sometimes. Then they come back out again, then they go back again. I don't know. <laughs> These green mushrooms, them. Big mushrooms, they're doing great. All these other mushrooms, I think that's a Superman mushroom there. They're doing all right. That coat coral is sleeping now, I think, but some that's not doing too good, but it's still alive, so it's been in there for about five, five months, so it's kind of like deflated now, but in the daytime it comes back out. 
that's normally that color that mushroom up there is normally about three times the size when the lights are at their highest in the day but that's doing all right up there my mushroom lever it's doing great my, f my first coral I added it about seven months ago it's kind of like doubled in size at least maybe more so I'm looking to get some different colored ones but I can't find any local to me yeah that's about it thanks for watching